You're buying an Xbox Series X, huh? Well, that's awesome, so did I. But how many games do you have? Do you want to keep playing them on the Xbox Series X? Well, if you do, then make sure you don't throw away that external hard drive. All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Wayne, thank you for being here. And in today's video, we're going to discuss why you should keep that external hard drive if you just bought yourself an Xbox Series X. And the first thing that you need to know is that Microsoft has said that Xbox One games will be backwards compatible to the Xbox Series X. And that's a big win for Xbox gamers. However, that means you're going to need a lot of hard drive space. Well, the good news is that Microsoft has said that accessories will also work with the new Series X. So not only uh, games, not only controllers, but also things like external hard drives or external uh, SSD cards. And so you might be thinking to yourself, well, Wayne, why should I hang on to an external hard drive or this external SSD that I have? Isn't the new Series X going to come with its own hard drive space? And yes, of course, it's going to come with this hard drive space. But you have to keep in mind, Xbox is only giving you one terabyte of hard drive space. And after you consider the fact of the operating system uh, installed on the hard drive space, now you're only looking at around 800 to gigabytes of free space to use to install games and music or anything else. And so now you might be guessing where I'm kind of going with this. And for instance, if you bought Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, uh, they've already stated that that game is going to take around 250 gigabytes of space alone. And so the game itself is going to take about 130 gigabytes. And then if you want to install the new updated version of Warzone as well, that's going to be another 130 gigabytes. So just for that game, you're looking at 250 gigabytes of your space. And so if you're kind of doing the math, you're looking at this and you're saying, okay, I, I might get, you know, six, seven, eight games on my internal hard drive. And when you compile that with all of your old Xbox One game or even Xbox 360 games, and you're trying to put all of that in the internal drive, you're going to run out of space immediately. And you might be saying, well, Wayne, why don't I just go out and buy a new uh, internal hard drive expansion card that I can get from Seagate? And the answer is you absolutely 100% can do that. But is that a pretty hefty price tag? You're looking at over $200 just to have the expansion hard drive put into your new Xbox Series X. So now your $500 Xbox just became a $700 Xbox. Oh, hi. If you're getting value out of this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Thank you. Okay, and so now you might be thinking, well, Wayne, what should I do? Uh, these expansion cards are extremely expensive. Um, I have an external hard drive. I know what to work on there, um, but, I, but I don't really know if I want to use that. And so what I would suggest is to put any of your backwards compatible games that do not require the new speed of the Xbox Series X onto your external hard drive. And then any of the newer X Series X games that you buy, keep those on the internal hard drive. Now, again, we're still gonna find that that's going to uh, take up a lot of space very quickly. So then you're still going to be stuck on deciding whether you want to end up buying that Seagate card or what you should do. Maybe you don't buy games, maybe you want to delete them. Well, there is a solution for that as well. And that still involves your external hard drive. And so as you can see here, if you're using a 3.1 external hard drive to store your current games, you cannot play directly from the HD. However, you can store the game there, but will then need to transfer the game from your external hard drive to your internal SSD. So what you could do then is anytime, instead of deleting a game to make room for the space on your internal hard drive, you can simply just move the files from your internal hard drive over to the external. And then if you get the gumption to play it again in the future, simply transfer it back from the external drive over to the internal uh, drive on the Xbox Series X. And so, I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing personally. I, I find that seems to be a pretty reasonable solution. Uh, so any of the Xbox One games that I've had previously, I'm just going to keep playing them off of my external hard drive that I already had. Uh, I personally bought a, a five terabyte uh, external hard drive way back when the Xbox One was coming out because I knew I was going to have a lot of games and take up space then. And so I'm basically just going to keep using that on my Xbox Series X. And then hopefully the prices of the expansion cards will come down at some point to be a little bit more reasonable, or at least you might have a chance to save up a little bit more money so that you can buy one down the road. Okay, and so now that you have your Xbox Series X and you have your game set up with the external hard drive, uh, 
you might want to know if you can share those games with the rest of your family or maybe you have a friend you want to share with and if that's the case then make sure you check out this video right here where I show you how to set up Xbox game sharing on the Xbox Series X. Alright guys thank you for watching today and I will see you in the next one.